Hey everybody, I'm so excited. We are taping on the new camera. Denise just spent some time trying to figure out how it works. And we've got some new lights, but we don't have the soft boxes. The soft boxes were supposed to come in with the lights and they didn't. So the light might be a little bit harsh, but we're working on it to bring crisper, clearer, better videos to you. Um, only thing is we don't have it on autofocus now. We have it focused on me. So when I hold things up in this hall, we won't be able to zoom in but I'm getting a new editing suite that will allow me to cut some up close edits. So that will all get better as time goes by. So hopefully you appreciate the light and the camera and you'll understand that close ups on the items will come very, very soon. So it's a huge haul. Um, if you've been watching my videos, you know, I, I just got done saying a, I'm doing a buying moratorium, a no buy zone. And you're gonna be like, what's with this haul? But I had ordered a whole bunch of stuff online around the Christmas season before I put the no spending zone on and thanks to Canada Post, it took forever. I mean forever for stuff to get here. So I've kind of amassed it all. I'm gonna jump right into it because it's a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, without further ado, first thing I got, which I'm really thrilled, is this awesome handmade purse. Um, it's, a, it's handmade and it's sort of the theme is Kat Von D, so this chicky on the purse kind of looks like Kat Von D. There's a beautiful rhinestone, or sorry, a beautiful little sequin patch here. The belt itself, the handle has hearts on it, which I love hearts. The zipper has a little heart on it. It's just a really cute for summer, kind of over the shoulder. There's guitar pick, um, guitar pick motif here. Just a really cute summer bag, fun going out night bag. Couldn't resist it. You know, I have two Hello Kitty bags that I absolutely love. One in black, or one in purple and one in brown. I discovered one in pale pink and I had to have it. So um, I just purchased this. I just really, really love these Hello Kitty bags. They're really cute and they have the little Hello Kitty motif on them. And one more purse before we get into the makeup. This is really the piece de resistance. I've been wanting a Michael Kors bag for some time and I finally got myself one. I got the Michael Kors Hamilton tote, the large Hamilton tote in black and gold. And I'm just really, really loving it. It's a nice huge bag. You can put tons in it. And I think now that I have a bag that I really love, I will very soon do a what's in your bag video. I got it in order from Sigma. I ordered one more of the Sigma um, brush sets that come in these awesome cups that you can take apart. I have uh, the, the Mrs. Bunny one that's in powder blue and pink and I have the little travel one that's in pink and these are really really pretty purple and where I travel so much I just like to have some travel sets that are clean all the time and ready to go. The reason I place that order though is I've been seeing all these ads about this and I had to try it out it's the dry and shape by Sigma. So this, it, it feels like leather, which kind of freaks me out. But here's the claim. Some, sometimes, particularly with Sigma brushes, you wash them and they dry like this instead of like this. Um, this thing, you're supposed to wash the brush, wring it out, and then tuck it down in so that the brush is squeezed by this elastic -y part here and that is supposed to make your brushes dry in four to six hours they say no matter how thick or how dense and it's supposed to dry them in their proper shape so I have not tried it yet I do have some brushes that I have to clean as soon as I try it I will do a little review on it and let you know whether this is worth the cash or is it just a gimmick Sephora is one of my favorite places on earth let us start with some of the one-offs from Sephora. I always click if I'm going to make an order on Sephora. This is all, by the way, from Sephora.com, uh, not from the local Sephora here in Halifax. Anytime I'm going to make an order on Sephora, I click the sale button. Sometimes things can be marked down, uh, you know, things you've been looking at for a long time. And there are two things in this little haul, I'm saving the best one for last, um, that I saw marked down on the sale site, so I picked it up. This is one of them. It's a three-pack of false lashes, Sephora brand plus Pantone Universe salt false lashes. And because I can't do a close up, I will just tell you that the top pair have a line of rhinestones along the band. 
The middle pair have very subtle color changes. So it's like pale purple, pale pink, pale blue lashes. And the bottom ones have the crisscross lashes with a lot of silver glitter on the outside flare of the lashes. And those were marked down. I can't remember what they were originally, but I think I got them for four or five bucks for all three pairs. I watch Fleur Force all the time. She's an English uh, vlogger, beauty guru. And I really like both her beauty videos, but also her vlog channel. Sometimes people's vlog channels are a little boring. Like I don't need to see you work out at the gym every day or shop for your groceries every day. Uh, but I always find Fleur and her soon to be husband, Mike, kind of has some fun daily vlogs. Around Christmas time, in many of her vlogs, she was rocking this gorgeous pink, pinky red lip. And so I went on and checked what it was, and it is this Yves Saint Laurent. It's like a liquid lipstick, but it's the most interesting liquid lipstick, and it's too bad we can't kind of come close up. But how this works is you put the first coat on, and it just kind of puts color. You let that dry a little bit. This isn't going to work because I'm doing it so quick. Well, you let it dry a little bit. You put another coat on. It gets darker. And finally, on the final coat, yeah, that's not working at all for me. But when you do it properly on your lips, on the final coat, you're left with a real heavy-duty gloss. And it will last, but it's not all matte and uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm not sure what this color is, but it, the number on it is 1B. If you watch any of my tutorials, you know that I use uh, Benefit's Powder Flage underneath my eyes over my concealer. It's a pale, pale pink, uh, slightly luminescent powder that just helps to deflect light under the eyes, and it helps me set my concealer. I've been using that for quite some time. They have discontinued it. Now, it's going to take me a while to finish what I've got, but I'm going to need something to replace it when it's done, and I've been hearing so much about the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And this can be used for the same thing in that area under the eyes. It'll set the concealer and it does some light reflection just to give you some brightness in those areas when you need it. So I'm not even going to open this. I'm just going to tuck it away in my drawer until my camouflage is done, which is probably going to happen in the next six months. I could not make a Sephora.com order without ordering something from Too Faced because they're one of my favorite companies. And this I had as a sample before and really loved it. This is called the Too Faced Pink Leopard Brightening Bronzer. Uh, you can use it for a bronzer. What I use it for is sort of like a combination blush highlighter. Just leaves a nice um, glowy look to the face. Similar to Max Mineralized Skin Finish in Petticoat. Even though that's a highlighter, a lot of people like to use it more as kind of just a really glistening blush. I like to do the same with this. I got a few Tarte items as well. These Beauty and the Box eyeshadows uh, from Tarte, I really, really enjoy. You know, Benefit does blushes this way, and I think um, Hard Candy as well does Fox in a Box. But Tarte does some eyeshadows this way, and I have another one with some pinks and silvers. So I grabbed this one with a whole bunch of neutral colors. So I would sort of see it as a little bit of their kind of attempt at their naked uh, look. You know, everybody's got naked palettes now. I have one Tarte Maracuja Cream Blush in Shimmering Poppy, and I really, really like it. So I picked up this one in Shimmering Peach, and these are just really, really nice um, cream blushes that dry to almost a powdery finish. They dry really quickly, so you kind of have to blend quick. And I recommend putting them on with a brush, not with your fingers, but love them. I also have a number of these already, and these are the Maracuja um, lip glosses. This one, though, is called Ethereal, and it's particularly gorgeous. They're actually called Maracuja Divine Shine Lip Gloss, and I wish I could swatch this for you. It is the palest baby pink with tiny, very subtle glitter in it. It kind of reminds me of Baby Sparks Lip Gloss from MAC, except not so gooey and sticky on the lips. And it comes in the beautiful packaging. I got a couple of these Tarte Cashmere Waterproof Gliding Liner liners. Really, really enjoy them. This one is in Shimmering Green, which is a deep kind of army green. And it's one of these twist up kind of liners. Really like that. Got one of these Tarte blush brushes. They're very thin blush brushes, but I do like them when I'm trying to be more, you know, more specific with my blush, so I got one of those. This is the second time buying this. It's the Maracuja Creaseless Concealer by Tarte, and this time I got it in light. Last time I got it in medium, but for the winter, that gets a little dark for me. Thick, creamy under eye concealer that keeps a lot of moisture in that area, but does not crease 
I love it. I'm really loving all the Maracuja products by Tarte, including the Maracuja oil. This is just the pure Tarte Maracuja oil. I use this at night. I kind of alternate between my night cream and my Maracuja oil and it's really been doing wonders for my skin and very soon, probably within the next few weeks, I am going to do a skincare routine because I've been getting a whole bunch of messages from folks saying they'd like to see that so I'm going to show that. Uh, one more Tarte product that I got two of. These are those new Tarte Glamazon lipsticks and I got them in Wild and Foxy. Wild is kind of a pinky red and Foxy is just a real bright pink. I love how on the tubes you can see what color your lipstick is um, by the color on the packaging which they do with their blushes. I find it hilarious how friggin huge these are though. I don't have a normal size lipstick beside me but this is a Nivea lip balm. You all know what size those are. What? Look at the size of these. Like you can put your lipstick on and then beat somebody over the head, you know, if they attack you. And what's comical is like, it's not a, it's not a ton of product inside, um, but it's one big ass bamboo case. They are really, really pretty. I have tried them already. I will give you one piece of advice. These are gorgeous. You're going to eat oily salad. You're going to eat oily fish. You're going to smile. You're still going to have all kinds of color on your lips. Problem is, later, you're going to scrub that lipstick off, you're going to smile, and your lips are still going to be covered with color. So don't wear these if your plan is, I'm going to wear this bright lipstick now to go out to lunch with the girls, but later tonight I'm going to wear a pale lip when I go out to dinner with my beau, because you're going to have a bright lip all day into the next day. They really, really stain the lips. So just as a little heads up, to me that doesn't take away from them, it just means you have to plan a little better. Urban Decay's Naked Craze has gone to a whole new level and I had to follow them right along with that. Uh, so I picked up a few Urban Decay items in this order. One is the Urban Decay Lip Junkie Lip Gloss. I have a few of these, but this one is in Midnight Cowboy and that came with one of my Urban Decay palettes. I got a little sample of Midnight Cowboy. Midnight Cowboy is a super, super glittery eyeshadow and the lip gloss is the same. This thing is chock-a-block with glitter. Doesn't feel chunky on the lips, but it looks gorgeous. So I went and ordered that in full size and then everything else I got is from their Naked line. So I'm a person who wears full coverage foundation usually, but I thought I would try the Naked Skin um, foundation. I got a great sample from them and you know what more companies should do this. I got a sample in an old Sephora order of the Naked Skin. Usually you get a sample of a foundation. It's one blister pack of what they think is a common color and maybe it fits your face and maybe it doesn't but it's kind of useless. Theirs came with four different colors like four little blister packs with different colors so you could try them to see what works on your skin. So I could order it online because I already knew that 4.0 was the color for me. And I also got with it their um, Optical Blurring Urban Decay Brush, which they recommend you use to put the foundation on. So when I start wearing that, which will be in the summer, I usually go to a lighter coverage in the summer. I'll let you know how it works. This some people have seen and some people haven't. It's the Urban Decay Basics Palette. So it's taking their naked palettes to a whole different level by making it smaller so it'll fit in your purse easier and making it just about completely matte. There's a tiny little bit of shimmer in that shadow but the rest of the shadows are matte and instead of having to carry the big long naked palette if you're just kind of motoring away for the weekend you can use this small one and as you can see I have not used it yet but when I do I'll let you know. Again in their naked line Urban Decay has come out with something that they're calling Urban Decay Naked Flushed and this is a really pretty palette with a big bronzer, a tiny little strip of highlighter and then a blush and this will give you that sort of natural flush. I find the colors really similar to the Too Faced Natural Face palette. Um, just really really pretty colors. Again I wish I could swatch all this for you uh, but I will figure that out. I will get that editing suite very shortly. The final thing in my Urban Decay kind of pile of stuff is they came out with the Urban Decay Naked Polishes. These are six little polishes all in colors from the original Naked palette. 
I just took out the two end ones to make for quicker. So they're not huge bottles, they're tiny little bottles. And this one, for example, is in the color Naked. And this one is in the color Creep, which is that glittery black that's at the end of the Naked One palette. So I do a manicure on my website every Monday at www.thecandyshow.com, just another Manny Monday. So click in there and you will see these polishes being used as time goes by. It's Kat Von D products. First of all, she has come out with these cute little eyeshadows. They're eyeshadow trios and they look like that palette she came out with at Christmas. So it's like the three colors all in one palette. And I got the color Beyond Redemption because I am Beyond Redemption. Her shadows are very, very buttery and she's got a little bit of glitter in this, a little shimmer in this, and a little matte down the middle. So I wanted to try this kind of periwinkle blues. Kat Von D has also come out with some blush, uh, which is very, very new for her. Everything has always been for the eyes or lips and not really much for the face, but she's come out with some really pretty blushes. They're beautifully pigmented. They're very buttery, soft, easy to blend. I got the colors Bellissima and Por Vida which this looks bright, but it just really brightens your face, but it's not scary on the face. Really, really enjoying these. She's also come out with some bronzer in the same packages as the blush. And I got, it's just two of them. There's Shady Business 1 and Shady Business 2. I got Shady Business 1, which is just a little bit lighter. Um, I haven't really gotten to try it out, but I will and let you know. My final two products, she's come out with Shade Shifter eyeshadows. And you probably won't be able to see that, but that color, which is on the road, it, it looks green and it looks brown, depending on how you look at it. It's got like a duo finish, and it comes with a real fat sponge applicator, which you can get dampened, you know, spray some Flix Plus on it. And it's supposed to really leave a beautiful, metallic-y, thick, uh, shadow and I, I got it in two colors. I also got Devotion, which is this really pretty gold. I don't see the duotone in the gold as much. I, I just see gold, but I haven't tried it yet. So phew, that's it for my haul, except for one most fantastic, most glorious thing. I told you that whenever I order, I like to click on the sale button just to see what's what and um, what might be on sale. Now, when the Hello Kitty Graffiti Collection came out ages ago, I saw the suitcase they had and I wanted it so bad, but it was not meant to be. Denise is just handing it to me because it's a little carry-on suitcase. Now, I, I know Walmart has got some Hello Kitty luggage and all of that, but this was a suitcase made in the Hello Kitty Graffiti pattern and I had gotten the brush holder and I absolutely loved it. They had this carry-on suitcase for 450 bucks. Like who's going to pay that for a little carry-on uh, suitcase? So I just happened to click that sale button in January and saw that this finally went on sale. It came down to 200 bucks, which is still too much for a carry-on bag, but I couldn't resist it. Check it out. Check it out, it is just gorgeous. It has all of the Hello Kitty patterning on it. It's got a couple wheels at the bottom and of course the, the draw out handle at the top so I can wheel it along with me. It came with two really cute little clear plastic makeup cases for inside for storing your toiletries and I'm so thrilled to have it. I haven't put it up on Instagram yet, but now that I have it out, I will take a picture of it and put it up. So thank you for sticking around if you watch that whole big long haul. I hope you enjoy the new light and the new camera, and I'm gonna be thrilled when I can get my new editing program, which will allow me to swatch and show things close up while still having this nice crisp uh, picture in the camera. So, and thanks to Denise for figuring out how to work the new camera. Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for my next one. Stay safe out there. Don't drink and drive. Wear a condom every time and I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye.